They have to go via check to Chinoy. This is the major problem, a real major Well, in terms of the costs, the compilation that we have done to date, which is not even halfway through, we are looking at half a million dollars damage in Mashona and West alone. And uh, to put a new structure in place with this one, the site that we had done upstream was about 650,000. But when we visited it with you just now, the proposed site is no longer a site. In fact, this old site is even better than what we had thought we were going to do. So the estimate of 300 meters worth of a bridge is none other than 800,000 because we have to extract all this go right down to the stone you know, floor and then start constructing from there. But that's not enough just to put the crossing. You have to redo the road. You probably have seen the washaways as we are coming. We have got fairly stable materials as we were coming, you know, perhaps because of the type of rock that is here. But to bring in the equipment and then start reconstructing you know, the road, it's going to be very costly. The iron of this, this is supposed to be a support program for the infrastructure, you know, cluster, which was supposed to have give, been given reassurance in terms of pro food production by the water. So one is eating the other. The water supply, we should have, you know, irrigated the crop is now eaten the infrastructure which would have been used to market the produce. So Zimas had gone bad here. We are not so sure whether we will be able to start constructing this bridge now uh, because the floods are not yet complete. So we can only be talking about redesigning. We may come back after the weekend as has been advised that the floods are still to come. Perhaps you may carry out the interviews maybe 200 meters away from here. So we have to think of another site. But you are not talking of anything less than a million dollars to reconstruct the bridge and then do the road as well. This is a very important crossing. It is the one that connects Urungwe and Makonde. And the people that are here, their referral hospital is Chidamoyo uh, Hospital. And they can't you know, get there. Even the people from Sanyat, they were using you know, this one to go to Chidamoy. Now to do that, you have to go all the way to Chinoy, the Absafayakado, and then get onto the highway. And if Chikuti Bridge still exists, that's when you can get to Chidamoy. But Chikuti is also under threat. So this is quite a lot of money you know, called for. It's a real damage. I, I, I can't I can't really fathom you know, the, the, the cost for the country because we are still you know, putting things together. But we are hoping by tomorrow we should have a fairly you know, uh, stable figure in terms of the guesstimate for the reconstruction of the damage infrastructure. Our visit to this site is just exemplary. We just want to give you, you know, an example of what has actually happened.
but in terms of numbers of structures that have got um, as of yesterday uh, we were talking of how many structures 26 in Mashonaland and West alone and uh, but we have got data which is being you know compiled from other provinces so by Monday you will check with us we will have a, a probably a complete dossier of uh, what has been damaged this is over and above what was damaged by the previous cyclones which had not been attended to. So you have got an exacerbation destruction and they've got a new you know, destruction that is taking place. So this is quite a challenge really. And that's what would you say about the human activity may also have contributed. This this as you probably saw yourself, um, human activity certainly did contribute because of stream bank cultivation as well as gold panning. Uh, it, it is like um, we are worried about the crossing, but the locals are saying it's now easy for us to do our panning. That's why they were running away with their plates. They thought we are actually traders coming to collect their gold. So there is going to be, you know, a matching advertisement against stream bank cultivation as well as against, uh, you know, gold panning. Yeah. We got the news that the scouring which then took place to topple the bridge had already been encouraged by gold panning because people had already gone under, you know, to do gold panning. So by the time the floods actually came, it was made easy for it to take it off because it had already been, you know, scoured, you know, from the bottom. So there is a combination of efforts in terms of uh, uh, prevention. Those from natural resources, you know, should assist us, uh, and the local authorities as well. That that's why we are moving around with them to try to discourage you know, uh, stream bank cultivation. This is a whole field. Uh, the engineer was telling me last time when they visited, there was a lot of maize and the people were actually saying, ah, don't move along, that, that's, that's our field. But all the crops are now gone. This is just ground. Thank you so much. Thank you.